Good morning! How are we all doing today? Uh, my name is Emma, a lot of wolf gods, and welcome to Doodle and Chill, which does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, we hang out here, we vibe, we create art, um, listen to some copyright free music, and just have a nice chill couple of hours. So, welcome! Um, today we're going to be working on a pet portrait. I had a really good morning, I'll tell you about it in a second. Uh, before I switch to my uh, Photoshop screen as my main screen, I want to show you one of the things I did yesterday. So I made this, it's a lino cut print. Um, I've been doing a lino cut workshop 
uh, run by Wild and Kind in Glasgow. Absolutely amazing, feminist, arty, gender queer friendly place. It's fantastic. Anyway, so I made these prints and I, I'm really happy with the the actual cutout, but if you notice the print is really blotchy. So I went on to Reddit and there's a lovely uh, printing community there. So I asked them like what's going on, why is my print so blotchy? And it turns out it's because the print is so big and um, the ink is actually drying out faster then I can get it actually printed on paper, which is a bit of a bummer. So I need to switch to, what do you call it? A kind of oil-based ink, um, and that won't dry out as quickly. So that's the plan. So the Badger prints are currently on hold until I can get some ink. So this is what I've been doing this morning. And like the, like the muzzle looks messy as all heck, but trust me, Trust me, it's going to look good. Hold on, I'll show you the reference picture. Where is he? There he is. He's on my other screen. Hold on, I'll bring him over. So, this is the reference I'm working from. Um, so, what I'll do is, once I've um, figured out the white colours and stuff, I'm going to erase the grey. I'm going to kind of flick it away as we go to get all these. Kind of, I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see what I'm looking at to get all of these <laughs> to get all of these cool kind of flecks in place so it looks really messy right now but trust me it'll look good once I get to the end of it you've got to get through the messy stage first as always when it comes to art so let me see um, this morning was like absolutely amazing by the way um, let's get rid of the grey and let's get rid of the brown just now and focus on the white. So we will create a new layer. Now the way I do these things is that I build up the darker colours first and then I do the highlights. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I have set up um, new uh, Twitch overlays just now and it also means I'm mucking about with audio a bit so let me know if the audio is off. My microphone seems to be peaking a fair bit and the music seems pretty quiet. So yeah, let me know if it needs adjusting. So what we're going to do is, you can see at the bottom here, um, let's move to brush picked this white colour. Um, I took this from uh, another reference photograph of the pup, not mine. I'm going to close my blinds, hold on a second. Thank you. 
That might be too big a jumping colour, what do we think, friends? Let's see. Zoom in instead of fit on screen, you silly goose. So, I'll just try and keep the fur going in the right direction as well. Although I've got like hundreds of reference photos, I still find it really hard to make sure the fur goes in the right direction. So yeah, my morning um, was unusual by my standards, not particularly exciting, but unusual. So I usually get up when my alarm goes off at 7, um, but I usually wake up earlier than that because, you know, my body is trying to punish me, you know, my body hates me, that's fine. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I, I woke up at 6 this morning. I was actually feeling really good, so I decided, you know what, what the heck, I'm just going to get up and face the day. And I did it, so I got up and had a quick bath, because usually I spend hours in a bath because I'm in a lot of pain, you know, fibromyalgia, yeah. And I think all of this white stuff can actually move, so I'll just do all of this. Just trying to get the... Because there's also the direction of the front of the skin. So yeah, I had a quick bath, and then I come for a deal with the females. A uh, deal with females is my favourite activity in the world. So I got a few of those done, which was pretty awesome actually. Um, and then I made a start on this drawing. Um, this is, I have a series of four hip portrait commissions to work on. Uh, two horses and two dogs. And I cannot for the life of me explain why. But I
but like during the day it's pretty dark. It's a bit tricky. Um, having said that, my garden's pretty good. Biohazard, but I don't think biohazard's the right word. You know, like in case they disrupt the environment. So yes, I did that. At the weekend, I also, I was growing some mugwort in the house because I want to use that for my magical work. And I decided just to grow one. So it was growing in my living room and it was doing pretty well but it needed more space so I put it outside at the weekend. Which I'm excited about because I'm going to make it into, um, not incense but you know sticks so you can burn. So we want to make the white a wee bit darker again.
not really vibing this music this morning. Let's pick something else. There we go. Something we can vibe to. So yeah, anyway, so I was like totally full of vim and vigour this morning and I was getting stuff done and I was like, yeah man, I'm going to win today, whoa, whoa. And I'm willing to bet I crash before the end of this stream. Feel free to place bets on when it happens. <laughs> work out isn't actually working out for me so <laughs> surprise I know who, who would have thought that would have happened
this is pretty dark down here. Helps if I'm on the right layer. Oh my goodness, layers, Emma, layers. these bits over here white as well but they're actually brown but it's just a case I need to Okay. So, like this, um, 
music right there, you silly goose. have to tidy it up at the end, but it means there's slightly less to tidy up at the end if I do it this way, if I tidy up as I go How are you doing? It's good to actually catch you. What's happening with you, dude? Or did it? I'm sorry, I can't remember your gender. I think it's male. Let's see what are these emails should have popped up for me. Komodo hype. And OS Frog. Nice. I do like Komodo hype. That's pretty awesome. Nice. No, I'm doing well. Uh, thanks for asking. 
skin. Um, I'm actually streaming a bit earlier than usual because I'm feeling that good. I decided to start streaming an hour earlier. I thought I'd make the most of the fact that I'm having good energy. What's happening with you, Slugius? What's new? It's been so long since I've seen you. What's happening? been a bit heavy on me. Uh, are you back at school or are you doing home learning just now? Okay. I can't remember most things, that's fine. I'm actually feeling really warm. I want to switch my fan on, but I don't know how noisy it is. Hopefully the Hopefully the microphone doesn't pick it up too loudly. I hope so anyway. In two months I'm about to finish high school, so it might be pretty heavy schedule wise. If I don't show up it won't be for nothing, don't worry. The stream is pretty fun. Oh, honestly, school first, friend. School first. You know, as much as I don't hold school in high esteem, um, not school itself. Education is really important, but you know the way it's the way it works is a bit kind of funny. Anyways, education is very important, and it is way more important than hanging about on a live stream. So do not worry. What subjects are you studying? With that, so what I'm going to do is group all the white well, yeah, group all the white layers together so I don't lose them. I 
which I might leave the white base out because I use that to help me with the darker colours. So I'll take you out of the thing just now. Cool, right. So brown base. Audio visual productions. Ooh, so like making videos and stuff, that must be really tough. Um, like I've done like a tiny bit of video editing and it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> so good on you for studying it. Good on you, I'm absolutely dreadful at it. So brown base, we need a new layer. Oh, not fit on screen, you silly goose layers. Oh. Honestly, I think my um, cognitive dysfunction is getting worse as the days, weeks, years that pass on. I don't know if there's anything they can really do about it. Brown, dark, fun. Then we go to colours. Tomorrow I have a presentation about society and people with autism, very interesting topic, though I may be biased because as a person with a Asperger's the information hits really close to home. Is that why you picked the, the topic of um, uh, talking about uh, autism? I got test, tested for autism spectrum disorder and I scored a couple of points too low to be diagnosed with it. But I do consider myself neurotypical because of that and like various other things as well. So, yeah, but that sounds like a really interesting topic, like a very important topic. So, good luck with that. I used to work in learning support and I also used to work as a, a support person for children who were visually impaired but also had um, autism, you know, so I met a lot of really, really amazing people who have autism slash are autistic depending on how they choose to identify, um, so yeah, it's a really interesting topic. It's really... Society can do so much more to help them fit in. You know, it's not hard. You know, they just need a bit of extra support. Yeah, I know that's, that's a really cool topic to do. I'd love to hear how it works out for you, like how it goes. That's great. I'm excited for you, that's pretty cool. So. This is our base colour at the top here, so I'm going to go dark. And then we'll pick our paintbrush. How does that look? That might be too dark too fast. Oh. too dark, too fast, edit, undo, edit, edit, undo, back to colours, so what we'll do is good old, let's mixy mixy, mixy mixy, and get a nice middle colour, I'll be honest with you, some of the best people I've met are on the autism spectrum. You know, like, so creative and thoughtful. You know.
needs to get a bit more ready first. That's re ready. Right, okay. Uh, edit. Undo. So what we need to do is go back to our colours. And pick this one. How does this look? Sluggies, I apologise, what is going on here? Let's see, is it more that colour? See, maybe the base colour is more like that rather than the grey. And then it kind of gets greyer as it gets darker. Because, like, this bit here is kind of red. So I think I'll change the base colour to that and then go darker. Yeah, it's very cold colours. Um, yeah. That's what we'll do. Like, I wonder if there's an easy way to do it. Let's find out. Susan Boyle, mm, right, so Susan Boyle comes across as a very lovely woman, right, but she isn't, she isn't, in pop culture, like the tabloids and stuff, I don't know if you have tabloids where you are, like the trash newspapers and stuff, they, they make fun of her constantly she keeps making like stupid mistakes okay, not stupid mistakes like you see because she is autistic she does things that neurotypical people are kind of like cringe at you know she's not very well respected like she she probably didn't do this intentionally it was her marketing company i'll type it in the chat so her marketing company when she launched a new album um the hashtag for it was, I'll see if I can get it right. Right, so I'm typing the hashtag in, right? So, it's the hashtag should read Susan Album Party because they were having a launch event for her, um, her album. Um, Unfortunately, people read the hashtag as Susan Anal Fun Party. So she got a lot of mocking for that. Um, people are really mean to her, you know. Um, yeah, so people, people are 
mean to her and it's unfair and I think she struggled with uh, celebrity as well I think the fame was really hard for her you know like having all this attention all the time I mean I wouldn't like it um, I imagine it might have been just overwhelming for her so people are being really really cruel to her and it's a shame because she has an absolutely beautiful voice um, and she's just had people take the piss out of her for ages so um, she's an example of um, an autist who is getting a, a rough deal I mean, beyond that, I don't know much else about her because I don't watch television, so I don't know much else about it. Yeah, thank you. All the more reason to talk about it. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, she seems really nice and like really kind and stuff, and like very modest and humble, like a very lovely lady. But the the press and know the sort of people who read tabloids and they're like to gossip mags and all that kind of stuff. They were all really mean to her. It's a real shame. It's a real shame. So anyways, <laughs> I hope that kind of helps a wee bit. Gives you a bit of information for your talk. I mean, it's all from my humble opinion. You know, you would have to actually research it for like factual information. But yeah, thank you. All the more reason to talk about her. Yeah. Yeah. And she does have a beautiful voice. I wasn't familiar with her at all. I feel a bit more confident with a first person perspective. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It was just... So, like, I... Right, here's the thing. Right, so she was on, I think it was Britain's Got Talent was the TV show she was on. And I didn't watch it, so this is what I've been told by people. So before she performed on Britain's Got Talent, before she went on the stage, everyone made fun of her because she she dresses really frumpy, she had a monobrow, you know um, she didn't look pretty by conventional standards, right? And everyone was kind of making fun of her, right? And then she got on stage and she started singing and everyone was like, oh my god, this ugly woman has an absolutely amazing singing voice. And I think that kind of helped propel her to fame. And because she wasn't the convention, she didn't look conventionally pretty, um, I think there was a lot of pressure on her to, to conform. You know, conform to what people expect of celebrities and then like the tabloid started like wanting to know everything about her life and that is I think for a neurotypical person I think that is hard enough but for someone who's neuroatypical I think that's too much it's too much to handle um, so between that and like a gaffes like the the anal bump party hashtag you know it's it's been really hard for I'm not even sure what she's doing now. I hope she's doing well. I hope she's okay. Um, yeah. I mean, she seems really nice. And, like, I wish her all the best. So. Helps if I'm on the right layer. Colours. Oh, that's right. I was going to go over the locked thingy with my brush, wasn't I? Okay, right. I'm sure there's 
probably an easier way to place the colour, but I find this way quite satisfying. Started trying to make like TikToks and stuff. Wow, you read perspective, right? Despite my huge time goals, yeah, I can imagine it's rough. She'd probably take a break from the internet as most people should after this pandemic. Totally, totally. Um, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, Susan Boyle's a very interesting. Who else are you talking about? Is there anybody else I know? Probably won't. Oh. That's a bit better. That looks like that colour, right? Okay, so then we can go to brown dark one. So what we'll do is we will fix colours. So I'm gonna erase all of this shenanigans because we're not using it just now. Trying to be really careful and try and be as tidy as possible just now so I don't have absolute chaos to deal with later, which is what happened with my Highland Cow drawing. Right, so that's our base colour. So. It's getting a bit too late. Thank you for a much nice talk as always. And use perspective from tomorrow's talk. You know, we'll catch you next time later. Have slug. Thank you very much. Sluggy is yes. good luck with your presentation tomorrow. Um, I'll need to ask you about it next time I catch you. Have a good night. Okay, take care. Bye.
He's now currently a bit redder than he should be, but I'm going to go darker and greyer as we go, so we should be fine. It should all balance out in the end and it's all good. Um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to have a wee tea break, so I'm going to go put the kettle on and have a cup of tea, but I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so see you in a bit.
there's a mess. It's kind of hard to fix my hair while well. Oh, God, I made it worse. Right, okay, we'll just we'll just accept this as a way of look. So I have my tea and my where's my fucking unicorn mug, which is my favourite mug. That was a bit clunky, I'll try and remember to mute my mic in future when I do that. Right, okay, so I can I'm not happy with how blue the the white bits are, I think I'll need to fix that. So, just checking my messages. Botanical drawing class this afternoon on like 
so obviously there's still a pandemic. Um, I think I might actually do it outside because the weather felt really good. So, can't hear over the music, hold on a second. How's that? Is that better for you, Jim? Anyways, this morning I am working on a pet portrait. Working on drawing this doggo. Uh, it's one of my aunt's dogs. Unfortunately, I feel really bad about it. I can't, for love nor money, remember the name of the dog. Oh, awesome, the audio's better. That's great. Welcome aboard. So what's happening with you? Not an eraser, we use a brush, you silly goose. Put this in here as well. Now, the colour, which I don't know where first because I always, always muddle up my layers new. Get much better, just had my lunch and chilling. Nice, nice. I've actually been in like a pretty great mood today, actually. Um I got up when I moved my camera. Um I got up like an hour earlier than usual and I was like super organised, quick off the march. I did an hour on this drawn before I started streaming. I had my breakfast, I dealt with a load of emails, um, I dealt with an IKEA delivery that came at eight o'clock this morning. It's all been it's such a good morning and then I decided to start streaming an hour early so I've been going for like an hour twelve minutes just now, something like that. So yeah, I'm having a great day. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I'm going to crash soon. <laughs> like my mood's just going to go. Ooh, but just now, I am making the most of it. What's that phrase? Um, what is it? Making hay while the sun shines. That's what I'm doing right now. Making the most of it. So yeah. I was worried about the... Well, glad to you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, thank you, Jim. I'm actually glad you're here because the last time... The last time you were on the stream, I was worried that I, I had maybe offended you and the... I can't remember his name. I feel really bad about it. But the, the kid that was here that was talking about what job he was looking to do or where he wanted to study and stuff. And I was worried I might have, like... Uh, upset him or something with my like political opinions because like, I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that so yeah I feel really bad about it I mean like I come from a place of privilege where it's okay for me to say I don't have to join the military because I can get a student loan and the Scottish government pays my tuition fees you know so I hope that kid's okay and I'm sorry if my opinions about the military um, were offensive I apologise so slivered in my tea. So the greys. I don't know. Like, I think that's too red still. Mix a bit of blue into that because I'm. See how that gets on. That might be too purple. Oh dear. No, oh dear. We're learning, we're having fun. That might be good. I'm mixing the colours on the wrong layer as well. Oh my god, right. Hmm. 
me personally, I wasn't offended, thought it was okay, and I hope they weren't offended ever here, because we're all just expressing our opinions, yeah. Okay, I know we're just expressing your opinions, but, like, when I was 17, my confidence would have been shot, and I would have been really stressed out. I mean, I found deciding what I was going to do after school really stressful, <laughs> and I had, like, lots of privilege, so... You know, I hope he's okay. Anyways, but yeah, thank you. That makes me that that kind of reassures me. Thanks, Jim. Now I think that purple might be too much too soon. But what we will do is we will pop 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 repick this colour and put more of it in with this purple. Let's see how that works out. I do enjoy mixing colours in Photoshop, I find it really satisfying. I find pretty much all of Photoshop really satisfying, if I'm honest with you. It's a great programme. And it's so much less messy than doing actual print media. Not print media, um, traditional media. Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. So if we go to colours and get this right, we'll put that there. Awesome. Right, and then we will get our razor. Go back to the actual layer that that colour's on and clean it off. start again. Nice. Do they actually mix like they would in real life? Kinda, I mean like you don't have the like the feel of the texture and stuff, but yeah they kinda they mix. Um they mix a bit more slowly than they do in real life which is actually good because sometimes I mix my colours too fast and like totally fuck them up. <laughs> which I would rather not do. I'll show you this as well. I showed it at the start of my stream. Um, so I've been doing, I've just finished it, I've been doing a lino printing workshop, um, like just for fun on the side. Um, it's been really good. So this is like, it needs fixing, but this is what I've been making. Oh, hang on, I'll switch to my, this one so you can see it a bit better. So I made this badger print. It's pretty blotchy because the ink dries faster than I can get the print done. So I'm going to have to get um, oil-based inks that can uh, stay wetter for longer. But I'm really happy with my wee badger dude. I love him. So yeah, my wee badger. So I'll get some more ink and I'll do a print run of him. tidying it up if I'd actually done it on the right layer, but here we are. Cool. So we need now this year it's just like pretty much all of this colour. Except for a bit here, which isn't
this bit here. I need to get the fur going in the right direction. This is really hard. Actually, I'm going to make this sketch. I'm going to brown the opacity on it a bit. Oh no! <laughs> Undo, undo, undo. Oh my god, right layer. Stay on the right layer. fan back on I'm just so thingy I just searched lino printing and it looks fun it is it's really fun and it's really relaxing um when you like so you transfer the design onto your lino and then you carve it with tools and like it's it's really nice just like watching the kind of the blade just carve through the linoleum it's, it's such a nice thing and then doing the printing is just ink print ink print and it's it's very very meditative in a way. It's good fun. I would like, highly recommend it if you've got the stuff for it. I mean, I get into it because I started doing a workshop online and they sent out the equipment, which was really kind of them. Um, so, yeah. That's very cool. a lot of fixy wixy do it is. So are you working on anything just now, Jim? Are you doing any creative stuff? Any projects? What's happening? So is it like cloth that you transfer the print on? No, no, that's paper. This is paper. You can transfer it onto anything that you can stick print on. I mean, like, I couldn't put this on cloth because it's water-based inks. It would just wash out. But if you got a fabric ink, yeah, you could transfer it onto fabric. So. Yeah, but I've just been putting it onto paper. Um, I think I'm going to go a bit nuts. I've got loads of, like, cardboard boxes and stuff downstairs as well. So I'm just going to print badgers on everything. Like, just cover everything with badgers. And then cover my windows with badgers. <laughs> so all, all people see our badgers. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That would be funny, though. Spell, I would be dangerous. Now, dark. Hey. Cool. So, I mean, I do fancy trying to print on fabric because that'd be kind of cool, like being able to do them on t shirts and stuff. That feels kind of very punk. I think so. Right, so we need to go back to color layer. On the right layer this time. Do this colour and we want to go a bit darker again and a bit greyer again so we'll go diagonally down. What's this colour look like? Hmm. Yeah. Edit, undo, edit, undo. We'll try it. It might be too dark just now but we'll give it a go. So this bit in here.
Hopefully I'm quiet, I'm in concentration mode. I see that's too dark just now. Colours are relative. Sorry, do that again. Colours are relative. And that's too dark for those colours, so we need to make it a bit lighter. Let's tidy up first. Get you sorted. I did it on the wrong layer because I'm an idiot. Let's try again. Colour layer. Here we go. Mm I haven't been able to draw anything lately, it's like, oh, Jesus, it's gone away, it's deserted. I have this urge to draw, but nothing when I actually sit down. But I did make a skull fall in a tutorial, and it's quite size skull. Oh, cool. The colours are very relative. Dark background will have colours look very, like, this different. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, yeah. And it's, like, still stuff I'm learning about, like, colours and stuff, like, how to make them work together. Um, yeah. So, um,. I know that feeling about how you want to do something and you can't, like, you, uh, it's, I don't know what it is, um, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but yeah, this thing where you kind of go, yeah, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw, I'm going to sit down and do something, and there's like nothing in the tank. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Like for me right now, see since I've started uh, this Twitch stream, it's kind of like I know I have to show up and I have to draw something, and it's really hard to try and think of things to do because I have to balance it between things I want to do, things people are interested in seeing, things that people might actually pay me for because this is kind of my job. Um, it's hard. It's hard trying to juggle all that and then because all of that's on my mind I feel this pressure so I procrastinate and then don't do anything at all. But today I will draw at least something no matter how small or draw one of favourite things. Two mountains, one tree, two house, three birds, one sun. Yeah. 
You know what I struggle with actually, like drawing a house, right? I'm, I think I'm okay at drawing like natural things, like um, plants and animals and stuff. Not the best, but I can do it. Um, but when it comes to drawing like man-made things, oh no, 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 absolutely no bloody idea. But it's gonna be dark enough, right? Okie dokie, and we go back to colors, c -c 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 colors, and we tidy up what we did before because we are not mucky pups, we are organized. change playlists actually like hmm, is that too big a jump make a new layer before you do anything before you fuck it up, make a new layer. I think I'd love to do like a... What do you call it? Like, an edit slash cut off every time I moan about fact that I've missed a layer, like a super cut of every time I go, I'm on the wrong layer, you use the correct layer, that'd be funny, oh dear, right, so, brown, dark, four, Oh, the drawn use of this kid, yeah. And like when you were a kid, you did the sky as a stripe at the top of the page. <laughs> yeah, and like the sun with the big rays coming out. Yeah. I might draw something like that. That might be fun to do. Cut loose a little bit. How's this? Let's try it. Let's try it. So this bit in here is pretty dark. And it kind of goes down here. See, the thing as well is I don't want to copy the, the photograph exactly because what's the point? It's just a photograph. I want to try and put my kind of stamp on it. I'm actually gonna, um, how do you Change the photograph to black and white to help me see which bits are darker. And that bit's definitely darker, but there's kind of dark around the bottom as well, right? Um, let's close that just now. Cool, right? So. But this 
isn't like a thingy line, it's like a blend. Nice, right, okay. So I will need to do some blending in this work. That's fine, I know that now. Super dark. And that bit there is not dark. So I think we just need to go dark one more time for the the bit inside the ear and for this bit under the, the jowl, I think. So one more layer. So we'll go back to colours. We will tidy up our colours bit. Down. We're gonna go dark one more time. Oh, I forgot to. Sally me, you need to keep a record of the colours I'm using before I get totally confused. Um, yeah, I think I like this colour. Nice, right. Okay, so we will create a new layer again. Edit. Um, not edit, oh my god, layer, new layer. <sighs> right. Like a counter, every time you fuck up a layer, you count, put the number down, and keep it. <gasps> that is a great idea! I am going to do that. I'll get that sorted. That is a brilliant idea, Jim. Well done. Right. I fuck up the layer counter. That's brilliant. <laughs> I love that. It's such a good idea. Uh, five. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's, that's really good. I'll actually get that set up once I finish the stream. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, I love it. It's so good. Um, nice. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So. The eyes look wonky as all heck, but I promise I will fix them later. Streamlabs, because sometimes it's easier to actually see the difference in Streamlabs. Yeah, I mean, it looks wonky as all heck, but my art always looks wonky as all heck in this stage, so it's totally fine. Right, I'm going to put on some different music. Let's pick... Uh, let's go... Lo-fi. For a bit.
but I didn't light one. Back to colors. C -c 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 colors. Um, I think I'm going to put all the dark layers into a folder just now so that I've got more space to work. Brown. Dark. It's just to tidy them all out of the way, so I've got space to actually see what I'm doing. That's not what I meant to do, I just put the light layer in here. Right, then we go to colours, and that means I can see my layers a bit more clearly. So, da 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 da, view, zoom in, view, zoom in, view, zoom in. Excellent, right. Okay, colours, c, -c, -c, -c colours. Pick this one. And we want to go lighter. So we'll go into the oranges a bit and we'll go what we do we want to go. Maybe too big a a thing. Let's brown light one. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's too big a jump. But what we can do is back to colours. Take you, and then we will pick you, smush you together, and then we will blend you. And get an interesting middle colour. Yeah, that works. Okay, so edit. Uh, control Z. Oh. Nice. I'm going to make the brush a bit smaller. So, the light is coming in from the top right of my drawing, so I need to think about this.
that's it. This is messy as all heck, but we will we will sort it. Oh, my back just made the loudest cracking sound there. Oh. Having said that, it felt good, so give my back a stretch. screen oh this is gonna be a lot of work because because uh, what I'll have to do is go back through all of the layers and like figure them all maybe I should have done that as I was working it's too late now how does it look with the white See, the white's too dark, I'm going to have to muck about with that at some point, I don't really know how though. Um. I'll probably have to merge it and then muck about with it, but we'll do that later. Uh, okay, that's fine. Back to bright light one. And we'll go to colours. Having a separate colour layer is messy, but it pays off so much, like, down the line. So how do you look? Too light, is it? Do some 
back to colors. Mix this new color with the old color. Create something new. Wonder Twin Powers activate. Color off. Basset Hound. Oh, another thing I did yesterday, um, um, like yesterday was very much an art business planning and organisation day, which is not my strong point. I am not an organised person. Uh, finances are a complete mystery to me. You know, I just like drawing. Anyways, so I had to sit and do a load of that. I had an appointment with my um, art business mentor, which was really good. And it helped me kind of figure a few things out in my head. Switch to a smaller brush, make it a bit easier on ourselves. Um, so yesterday evening, so uh, right, a couple of days ago I made a sale on Etsy, right, and it's been the first time in a while that I've made a sale on Etsy, and I actually lost money on it because I wasn't paying attention to. Things like VAT, because there have been VAT changes because of Brexit. Hooray, Brexit! Um, so that's made things a lot harder than they should be. Um, and I'm skinned to the best of times, so that was a real bugger losing that money. Um, but you know, these things happen. And like, after I. And I got upset about it, right? I got really upset about it. Because it was a stupid, a it was a stupid mistake, and b I don't have any money to make those kind of mistakes. Anyways, so after talking to my mentor and spending several hours thinking about it, because my brain doesn't work quickly, I made a spreadsheet and actually sat and worked out the cost of all the it the cost of my items and what I need to charge to make a profit. So I did that and it was really confusing. Vavis, good morning Vavis, how are you? Welcome to the stream. We're just chilling out while I work on a pet portrait and I'm just talking talking about art business stuff. So anyway, so I made a spreadsheet and like, I'm not, Excel's like arcane knowledge to me. Um, so it was very slow and I was typing in the formulas each and every time instead of like copy and pasting them because I don't know. But I sat and I worked it out and I worked out all my prices and then I, excuse me, went through my Etsy store and I repriced everything. So that was, that was really good. I felt very kind of productive after doing that. It was a nice feeling. It was good to be able to get that done. I don't feel quite so bad about my work. Um, and hopefully I will not make the mistake of undercharging for my products again. So Vavis, are you a streamer? What do you stream? I'm always looking for streamers to follow. It doesn't have to be art. I'm interested in lots of things. Most of the stuff I actually follow is gaming content. Be honest, I do like gaming content. Although, 
all really depends what I'm in the mood for because like I love art streams when I just want to vibe. Art streams are great for vibing. See, I'm worried about, see this bit here on the cheek? I'm worried about how flat that colour looks just now, but if, hold on, I'll get my reference photo. So if I look at my reference photo, if you look at the cheek, it is a flat colour, but there's flecks of white through it. And the flecks of white will appear once I erase the, the brown layer, the white layer will show through. So I'm hoping that will work out fine towards the end. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Right. Right. Uh, image of layer. New layer. I'm overthinking it. I'm getting confused. If I don't overthink things, I don't get confused as easily. Colours. Colour layer. We tidy up our colour layer as we go. We dollop down the colour we were last using. again put it on the colours layer that's another layer mistake I will do that layer mistake counter I think that's oh no uh, edit edit undo <laughs> um, that doesn't count as a layer mistake IKEA delivery earlier. Um, I am getting a new desk. My partner has bought me a new desk, which I'm really grateful for. Um, it's not in this delivery though, it's in the next IKEA delivery, which is in a few weeks' time. But I'm getting a new desk. It'll hopefully give me, it'll be longer. It's narrower, but it'll be longer, so it means I can spread out my, like, I can move my camera further back and I can put my second monitor further back and have space for my keyboard. Which is really cool. I'm so grateful for my partner like supporting me doing my art and my streaming. That's really good of him. Because he doesn't have to, but he does.
light actually on my behalf to bring it down a bit. Um, I'll leave it just now because I can change it later. might have to make the, the cheek darker. I'm kind of like, I'm anxious to do it because of how much grey is coming through. What colours, what layers the... Right, hold on, let's put the lights into... That's actually the base. Oof, right, okay, so we need to brown dark one. Which I think is this colour. Because like, I'm trying to see the colours that they would have been when he was younger and then I'll chip away at them using an eraser to show the white through the bottom to show he's kind of, because he's getting old, he's kind of a grizzled, dapper old man. Actually, so how do I... All of this dark. And then if we pick this colour, sorry I keep bumping my microphone, I apologise.
that's better. I think we're getting somewhere now. So I need to chip away the colours. start with a lot of things here, friend. So we will go to colours. I'm going to mix up the colour and then I'm going to have another break. Stretch my legs. My legs are feeling a bit sore. Right. Okay. So what my plan is, is to go back to the grey layer, no, grey layer, lock it, hopefully this will work, get a bigger brush. So what I'm going to do is uh, change a lot of this grey to a kind of middle grey. Do that and then you know, blend it a bit. Okay, that's a bit better. Right, do you know what? I'm going to save this just now. Right, save. Save onto my computer. And save it to. Save. Right, okay, I'm going to take a quick comfort break. I'm going to stretch my legs and grab a can of juice. Maybe something to eat, stop my tummy rumbling. Oh, excuse me, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes, okay? I'll be back in a couple of minutes as soon as I can find my break, but there we go.
back again, friends. How are we all doing? I have rammed a bit of chocolate into my face. A uh, mini moo bunny comb. Sorry, my camera's mirrored. It's very tasty. Vegan chocolate with bits of honeycomb in it. Mwah, perfection. And to get caffeine in my system, I am on good old Iron Brew. If you live in a country that doesn't have Iron Brew, I feel really sorry for you because Iron Brew is the elixir of the gods. So, we are continuing onward. Where's my glove? I need my special glove. Here we go. So, so I am going to start this grey base work with erasing some of it to show the kind of the white flecks of old age and then I will do the nose. So we need an eraser tool. Actually could really do with getting some cool erasers at some point. Uh, mega pack. Bonuses. Chunky charcoal. No, so getting distracted. One of the other reference photos I'm working from. Look at them. The place. Desktop's not behaving itself. Here we go. Something I want to check out, hold on a second.
going to take a risk and I'm going to Gonna play some Undertale music. Hopefully it's not too jarring. I just felt like a change. So back to my other reference photo. Not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Right, let's have a look at your snoot. Let me see your snoot. Undertale was a very important song to me. Hold on, I'm going to turn this music down, it's quite loud. I hope that's not drowning out my voice too much. Um, yeah. Undertale is a very important game to me because I played it um, when I had time off, time time off um, from being my mum's carer while she was dying of cancer. So Undertale really got me through quite a tough point in my life. I'm very grateful for it. So, thank you Toby Fox for creating just such an amazing game. I really appreciate it. Probably not going to watch this stream. No, the chance of Toby Fox watching this stream is like slim to nil, but you know what?
Twilight wasn't flowy like one of the greatest video game villains of all time. I, like wasn't Undyne one of like the greatest heroes of video game history and wasn't Undertale like the greatest video game in all gaming history don't at me <laughs> God, I might play Undertale again. I mean, is it worth... I played it on PC. Is it worthwhile getting on Switch? Like, is there enough extra content on it to make it worth buying it on Switch? Like, I can't believe how creative Toby Fox is. Like, all the stuff he did to create Undertale, it's just amazing.
view film screen. I apologise, I'm going to be burping a fair bit because I have had lots of iron brew this morning. <laughs> We're vibing. God, where did this song fit in? Well, I don't know what part of the game this song's from. Oh, God. Sounds like boss music. I mean, there were a couple of bosses I missed because um, I didn't do all the, the kind of side stuff. Maybe I missed something. Sounds pretty good though. Grey, dark, on. No, I'm not using the right brush, that's a problem. So we're gonna go darker. Let me look at your snoot. Alphys's lab, yeah, that's a bit of the game kind of spooked me a fair bit. I felt so bad for Alphys as well, because I know she didn't mean to hurt anybody. Need to smudge you what you do it as.
missed a fair chunk of this game because I do not for love nor money remember this song at all. That's a few songs from Undertale I don't remember. I'm going to have to play it again. Let me see your beautiful snoots. There's a bit of pink under there where the chin is, but I'll do that at the end, I think. I'll not worry about that just now. Okay, so if we go back, we'll create a layer, new layer. Final fight with Sands. Do the nose with the eyes separate.
right, I am going to think about winding down for the night, so I'm going to add a text layer. Yep. So that's my notes remind me for next time. View fit on screen. Coolies. Right, I'm gonna start winding down and I'm gonna try and find someone for us to raid. Which I have not done before. The last time I tried to do it was a bit of a disaster, but let's try it again. Oh, it's meta, I'm watching myself stream. Okay, so who have we got? Erin is playing. Okay, so let's try and do... Hopefully this works, because <laughs> I've not been very successful at doing raids before. So, this is Eren, he, he's currently playing Team Fortress 2, he does art streams and gaming streams and he's a pretty chill Aussie bloke and I quite like him, I think it's just quite nice. If you're looking for like a chill gaming stream, he's your man, so fingers crossed, let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. Let's try again. Great. Oh no. E R E N Y N three underscore. Second time lucky. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Is it working? Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to put my music off just now. Right, okay folks, I'm gonna head off now. Okay, um I hope you enjoy the raids. Uh Erin is pretty cool. Um and I'll I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye.